Well, the only thing we really had uh, in Darwin's time was gravity. You have a, a cloud of gas, and uh, the cloud of gas naturally sees itself gravitationally and starts uh, collapsing, uh, gravitationally contracting. And as it does, uh, its properties change. And the difference is today, we have more than gravity uh, causing the star as a great globe of glowing gas to be balanced, a balance of forces. The early derision, of course, was mainly over time scales. Uh, how, could, how could there possibly be enough time in the universe, uh, still very much a biblical universe, uh, to provide for the incredibly slow and uniform processes that Darwin uh, said must, must be taking place. One of the, the most poignant in astronomy is the age of the Earth. Um, because the evidence, of course, continued to mount uh, in the late 19th century uh, from biology and geology that the Earth was uh, very deep time, very, very old and very extended time. And yet uh, Kelvin, Lord Kelvin and other astronomers who were thinking only in terms of gravity causing stars to change over time, uh, made some very simple calculations and said, the sun is, can't be that old, there can't be enough energy for it to shine for such a long time. And it couldn't have been shining for such a long time. They were thinking at most in terms of hundreds of millions of years, or tens of millions of years even in the most drastic cases. And yet you ne needed many times that for uh, Darwin's uh, uh, time scales. His son had direct and very, very profound influence uh, on uh, different parts of astronomy. Um, in England, especially in uh, the area of mathematical astronomy and theoretical astronomy, you would see Darwin and his students and students' students in generations at Cambridge influencing uh, the way that uh, theorists like Arthur Stanley Eddington thought about the stars. And uh, it re really was a foundation, a foundational era for, um, for looking at dynamical systems. A lot was happening in France as well, Poincaré and others, but it was George Darwin who really uh, set a line of thinking uh, going that helped us look at stellar systems. Well, I hope it happens in my lifetime, and that would be truly discovering life elsewhere, that we really can say is independent of our uh, particular uh, circumstance here. Mars would be a good thing, but I'd like to look farther. But I have faith that we will find an answer to that, that question of life in the universe, and it will be positive. We First thing I would say is, does it behave according to Darwinian principles? Then I will see whether there is uh, something to be said for Darwinism. You, it's, you know, uh, like they say in uh, Astronomy 101, you know, describe the universe and then give two examples. So with Darwinism, we got one great example here. I'd love to have another one. <laughs>